Hey there everyone, welcome back again to Engineering Pritam and another video of PTC Curve Parametric Series. Today in this video, uh, we are covering the pattern and so far we have covered dimension pattern, direction pattern and axis pattern. In this particular one, we will be talking about fill type pattern. Okay, so here uh, you can see uh, we have created one such example feature or form we will try to create pattern. Pattern is nothing but the replica of existing feature into many instances. So uh, now here you can see we have selected this feature. Now let's go here on the top on pattern and then click on pattern. Now as you know we always can customize it here by adding direction and direction to that we have also seen in our previous videos. So if you want to see the complete customization or another variant of pattern like dimension, direction, axis, do check out our previous video. I'm gonna also put their link in the description of this video. Now let's go here on the top and then select fill type pattern, okay? Now uh, here what we need to do is we need to have a sketch. So it's good actually if you have already created it or else you can even create embedded sketch. So uh, in order to create embedded sketch, let's click here on reference and then here in case of sketch, I'm gonna say define. Now let's select this uh, plane here or surface. Now uh, let's try to plot the sketch. And the good thing about this sketch is it can be of any shape, okay? So that's why to, to define the flexibility of it, I have used this spline tool to create the whole sketch because as we know the spline tool create a curvature continuous curve where we know the radius change at every point now uh, let's click ok and here now what we need to do is we need to define spacing okay so let me make spacing as 15 based on the size of my feature now here from the border I'm gonna leave a 10 mm of space. That's again, I would say is required. If you properly want to confine these features within the border, then here you will see further more options. For example, if you would like to change the origin or reference, you can do that. Then uh, you can also follow the leader location and so on. You also have an option to rotate it. So let's say you would like to rotate it by 10 degree. Uh, you can do that now you see the alignment and orientation of all these instances is rotated by 10 degree anti-clockwise now let me hit ok and there we go guys so here we can see uh, we have created this pattern and seems like the spacing is not good enough and therefore it is also failing so i'm gonna go back here again as a definition now i'm gonna make this spacing uh, which is 15 as a 25 probably that will work and i think this will work and there we go this time we successfully formed this pattern without failing it again let me go back here at the definition and let's try a different grid pattern this time okay i'm gonna use this diamond type and yep this time we see it is different than previous in a similar way you will see a different different type of pattern that we can utilize okay so I also like this spiral one. So based on your requirement, uh, you know, you can choose the kind of pattern. That's all guys from my side in this video. I hope that you find this video helpful and informational. If so, then please do like and subscribe to Engineering Pritam to follow the complete PTC Group parametric series and other engineering related topics. And I will catch you soon with one such another video. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.